It was a crime spree that underscored a transit system in peril following a 14-hour stabbing spree that began the morning of February 12th, leaving two dead and two others injured despite the arrest of 21-year-old Roberto Lopez of Brooklyn, who police say is mentally ill, and a pledge by the city to add 500 officers to patrol subways. A group of clergy members here at Los Redimidos continue to be concerned. The people are scared to go out including to church, especially the services in the evening, because the crime in our city. That's why Bishop Hector Chiesa invited president of the Sergeant's Benevolent Association, Ed Mullins, to speak. The violence is all over. The subway system is deplorable. Um, yeah, I just rode the subways just the other day to see what it looked like. It's horrendous. He says in order to keep New Yorkers safe, leaders have to identify the source and respond appropriately. A lot of what's occurring in the subway is mental illness. It's people that have been released from, from other crimes. And his solution? We need to create an atmosphere where the public wants a law and order city. We need to create this before the next mayoral election so that they don't whimper out to um, this, this pandering section of voters who don't really care what occurs in the city. And we need to hold the next mayor of the city accountable. Also outside, Jose Serrano, who listened and agreed that steps need to be taken now. It, it's, it's out of hand. You know, crime and the train's out of hand. Now now we don't feel safe anymore. What, what, are, what are we going to do? You know, our local officials are failing us little by little. In addition to the 500 officers being deployed by the city, the MTA is requesting an additional 1,000 officers. For Bronxnet, this is Arlene Makoko.